Growing up, I did not eat a lot of sweet stuff. It's probably one of the reasons why I was not plagued with cavities in my childhood. I don't often eat sweets, and I barely order desserts. But when I do eat something sweet, I want it to be really sweet. The kind that makes you feel guilty that you're eating it. The kind that makes you feel like you're going to get diabetes or your teeth is going to rot and get cavities. That's the level of sweetness I like when I eat something sweet. Which goes to say, not a huge fan of Asian desserts. I tend to find them too mildly sweet and it just doesn't feel like it serves any purpose. And I feel like I'm just eating empty calories. I remember a time when I was in college. A group of friends around Lent tried to gave, give up stuff. And some of us decided to participate as well. So a guy in our group made a bet with everyone. He made the wager. The terms and conditions were 30 days, no sweets. And if you can survive it without anything that is considered a dessert or a sweet candy or confection, you win the bet. So I thought to myself, oh, I barely eat sweets anyway. I got this in the bag. So I joined the bet. I said, okay, I, I, I will join the bet. But in my head, I thought to myself, I got this. I'm definitely going to win. And... I'm basically pulling an easy one here. As my friend was leaving, he stopped, turned around, and said, No, I know you don't eat sweets. So this is too easy for you. For you, you're going to give up savory items, savory snacks like chips. And I realized he got me. Because that was my weakness. Well, if you like this story, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.